short and stoned, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I'm a canna advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, we are going to be comparing the Puffco Peak Pro and the new Puffco Peak. Stay tuned to find out which one's best for you. Before we even get freaking started, let's take a rip. I haven't consumed yet today as I've been just a little preoccupied. Right off the bat, there are quite a few more Easter eggs to click through for the new Peak versus the Puffco Peak Pro since so many variables are controlled within the app. Cheers. Also might I add, I think this one's the best for dry. Oh my God, I'm sweating. All right, let's get into it. Here we have the new Puffco Peak, which they just unveiled end of summer 2024. And this was to replace the OG Peak with something a little more affordable, but also had better quality upgrades right out the box now that they've been producing this model for ages. I think they did a great job of this. And then we have the Puffco Peak Pro. They unveil new limited edition colorways of this a couple times a year. And this one came out because it boasts so many wonderful additions on top of the regular Peak. And just the design of it's so sleek. If you've been on the fence about which one to purchase, I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to discuss everything from how it pulls, chamber size, weight, height, battery, everything you need to know to help make a decision for you. Let's start with the main one, the price point. The new Puffco Peak has an MSRP of 220. This makes it $200 cheaper than the Pro. Automatically, hella more affordable if you ask me. So then obviously, like I stated, that puts the Puffco Peak Pro at $420. That is almost PlayStation, laptop, big tech money. So if you're a serious consumer, it might be okay to spend some serious money. But if you're trying to fall on a budget like most of us and just consume basic products without the flair, you don't need fancy lights to consume good hash. Next is size and weight. When we're comparing two rigs, size and weight can actually carry a substantial bias of which one you might prefer in your hands. The Puffco Peak Pro sits at around two pounds and it stands at nine and a half inches tall. So this is a pretty hefty fella here if you ask me, but if we wanna talk about what's super comfortable and feels the best in my hand, I can even use it one-handed while I'm doing something else, it's this guy. Super light, you're looking at about one and a half pounds and about eight inches tall. So half a pound and an inch variance between the two. But this fits so well in my hand, I can even use the joystick. Look, I just heated that up. Oh no, I'm heating up the rig. I guess we gotta take another. I'm getting so hot in here. And if you're curious, here are them side by side together. The base on the Pro and the glass are going to be taller, but let's move on to efficiency and the chamber. Out the box now, the new Peak comes with the 3D Automizer. It just means it is a more integrated, high quality, and designed for long-term performance. But this thing, I can tell you after cleaning it and daily use, it holds up, really keeps it nice and contained. So you're efficiently consuming 99% of the product that you're putting in there. In fact, I love the design of this automizer more than the Pro. The Pro comes with the 3D chamber as well, but it's a more external, not as integrated design. The automizer is a bit more tricky for the upkeep on this one. 
So obviously this has a smaller chamber for the heat up surface area in which your product goes than this one. This is probably double the size of this one, but if we're talking efficiency, I think this is more efficient because it's bigger, it has more surface area for your product to heat up. I'll put it this way. There is the least amount of product left in the chamber after a session on this one. However, I think this one pulls better on dry heads. So it's like pros and cons of each to be honest. There's definitely a use for both. This is for on the go and this is for I'm at home. I wanna dial the heck in how I'm consuming. I really want to pinpoint my exact variables for my consumption experience. Well, let's talk about high tech additions, Bluetooth and RGB lights. They both have RGB lights. However, this one boasts a battery warning light. This one does not. The Pro is able to illuminate from multiple points in various colors that can be set stagnant or moving. Lights on this one are not able to be changed and it is just a light band around the back. The one that has the RGB lights also comes with the capability of connecting to an app. This allows all of the amazing controls over your experience. This one has four preset heat settings with a fifth Easter egg. And might I add, I think these are perfectly calibrated for consuming rosin. And then here are all 23 heat settings set up in my app for my Puffco Pro, which I absolutely love. I can really dial in per each flavor or per each terpene what I'm trying to release and experience. For medical patients, the Pro is quite worth it if you ask me. Okay, let's move on to battery life and charging. Both charge via USB-C. One comes with the USB to USB-C, which would be the Peak Pro. And then the newer Peak comes with a USB-C to USB-C. So it charges the fastest. Except I'm getting less rips out of the Pro than the regular Peak. And this is because I can get this to produce more vapor by using more battery life. And I can also set the time of my draw to up to two minutes. Honestly, the new Peak gets more sessions per battery charge than the Pro. So that's something to keep in mind. That's what makes this one the optimal on the go rig. It's light, great battery. Let's talk glass build and quality now. They have similar shaped glass. However, the new Peak also has a shorter inside cone and it's more around and bulbous versus the Puffco Peak Pro Glass almost comes to a flat cone at the top, but there's also additional ridges. This is to help with the air circulation to help it cool down. I love the tinted green glass on this. It looks so nice and quality of the build. They did skimp a little bit in the external aesthetics and quality of the silicone and the plastic. It does get pretty dirty and smudged up, but nothing uh, alcohol wipe can't fix. You don't have too many extra adornments or decorations on the outside versus the Pro. There's so many key little details that I would expect for spending a pretty penny on this one. There's ridges and congruent designs that tie the whole piece together and make it look seamless. You have gold details. It's really thoughtfully designed. Even the silicone's high quality and the plastic and the gold ring. It's very, very well done. All right, I touched on a little bit before. There are some extra controls. Obviously, this comes with the app. So everything's controlled within the application on your phone. However, to make up for the fact that this doesn't have extra doodads or a screen, there's a bunch of hidden Easter eggs by clicking extra. There's a disco mode, an extra heat cycle, and even boost for dry rips. You know, people are saying it's better for the Terps, baby. Oh, and there's an addition to add on an extra 18 degrees Fahrenheit and an extra 15 seconds to your session. So this makes it really easy to add on to your basic experience out of the box without having to use a screen. Yeah, I think I touched a lot on the difference between the two. I'm gonna connect this to the app. I can go into the app and I can change how bright these lights are and the mood lights. 
And for that, I stand by my purchase of the Puffco Peak Pro. Yes, it cost a lot, but in terms of giving me relief that I need how I need it, worth it. And $220 for a fun ring to bring around to festivals, hikes, adventures. This is amazing. I love her. Yeah, and I feel the need to add, this isn't sponsored. I wasn't sent any products. I'm a disabled gal who bought these products myself. I really understand the hype behind these products. They work well and they preserve your flavor like no other. So when it comes to you, do you prefer something that has all the fancy bells and whistles that you're able to customize? Or are you more of a ballin' on a budget homie who just needs the basics to consume good hash? Let me know in the comments below, which one do you have? Or which one are you thinking of purchasing? I love chatting with other people that have this product as it's so community driven. Before we get out of here, let's do one out of the pro. I'm going to connect my app to this. There are times it doesn't connect. But da -da, there it is. My favorite's Rainbow Road. Okay. She's heating up so you can see on my phone screen in live time, we get to see what temperature she's at. Rowan. Thank you all for being here. I hope I was able to help bring you some insights on these e-rigs that have honestly changed my life. Hey, they might do the same for you. If you found this video at all helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment to keep the conversation going. And if you'd like to session hang out more with me, make sure to subscribe. If you're interested in checking out a previous video, I shared my first PR unboxing and my next video will be Baking While Baked. I post videos every Thursday and Saturday, so I'll see you real soon. Peace. And if you didn't hear it yet today, I appreciate you. Bye.